Want to learn your target language for free? Then get our free language gift of the month right now, before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the going to a restaurant conversation cheat sheet. Do you know how to order food in your target language? You'll learn how with this PDF cheat sheet. You'll get the must-know restaurant phrases and vocabulary for common dishes. Second, the Daily Conversations PDF eBook. With this, you'll learn over 100 phrases for everyday conversations. Download and review the eBook on any device. Third, can you talk about grammar in your target language? If you're learning the language, you'll need to know how to say verb, adjective, and much more. And in this one minute lesson, you'll pick up over 25 grammar related words. Fourth, how to talk about working from home. You'll learn how to say Wi-Fi, online meeting, work from home, 25 phrases in total with this one minute lesson. Fifth, must know art vocabulary. Learn how to say canvas, brush, and much more with this quick vocab bonus. Sixth, looking for a new language learning app? With the Innovative 101 app, you can learn fast and start speaking in minutes because the audio and video lessons are just three to 15 minutes long. Learning is that easy. Download Innovative 101 for free for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get up to 35% off with our Ready, Set, Speak sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Hey everyone, welcome to the Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to make sure you keep going when your reason for learning language changes. Did you know that the reason most people start learning languages isn't why they continue with the language? Successful learners change up their reasons along the way in order to keep themselves motivated. So if you started learning for whatever reason, but no longer feel motivated, then this episode is for you. You'll discover one, why your reason for learning a language can and will change, and two, how to keep going with language learning when your initial reason no longer works. But first, listen up. Here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the going to a restaurant conversation cheat sheet. Do you know how to order food in your target language? You'll be able to. With this PDF cheat sheet, you'll get the must know restaurant phrases and vocabulary for common dishes. Second, the Daily Conversations PDF eBook. With this, you'll learn over 100 phrases for everyday conversations. Download and review the eBook on any device. Third, can you talk about grammar in your target language? If you're learning a language, you'll need to be able to say verb, adjective, and much more. And in this one minute lesson, you'll pick up over 25 grammar related words. Fourth, how to talk about working from home. You'll learn how to say Wi-Fi, online meeting, work from home, 25 phrases in total with this one minute lesson. Fifth, must know art vocabulary. Learn how to say canvas, brush, and much more with this quick vocab bonus. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. How to keep your motivation going even when your reason for learning a language changes. First, here's a question for you. What was your reason for starting this language? You might have started learning for travel, for the culture, to watch TV shows or understand music, or because someone you know speaks it and you want to try speaking with them. All of these reasons have something in common. They're external, meaning you're trying to get some outside reward or benefit, like a friendship, a personal relationship, travel, or living in the country. You can say they're also external motivations. All of these reasons are why most people start learning languages. They're exciting. All of us want to understand a TV show 100% or have a conversation with native speakers. But the problem with external reasons is that they may not last very long. 
Have you ever been motivated to start learning only to lose that motivation? And months later, you realize you made no progress on a goal you wanted? It happens quite often. For example, you want to learn a language for travel, but then the pandemic happened and you weren't able to travel. Or you were learning to enjoy TV shows, but the shows are way too complicated and you find you're no longer enjoying them. Or you're learning for your partner, but then you break up. When that happens, all learners come to a crossroads. Continue or quit? Most people quit because the reason they started is no longer motivating. So how do you keep going? In the first part, you learn that most reasons for starting are external reasons, like traveling, meeting new people, being able to watch TV shows and such, or external motivations. However, your reason for starting a language isn't often the reason why you continue learning. It's natural for your reasons to change. So what do you do when your initial reason for learning is no longer working? If your current motivator isn't working, switch to an internal reason. External reasons are about getting some outside benefit. Internal reasons have more to do with yourself. For example, you could say you're learning the language because you want to improve yourself. You want to achieve this goal. You've failed goals in the past, so now you're determined to make it work for once. You're the type of person that gets things done. All of these are examples of internal reasons, where you make it about yourself. External reasons can only last so long. Even external reasons like you want to live in that country, so you want to learn the language, aren't enough. There are plenty of people that move abroad to learn a language, but end up losing their motivation anyway. And psychology studies show that internal reasons, internal motivation, doing it for yourself, is much more powerful than external. Doing it because you want to is much more powerful than doing it because you have to. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time we'll talk about the first step in your language learning journey that will guarantee your success. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. Know any good tips for mastering conversations? Well, there are some words and phrases that tend to be used more often than others in everyday conversation. So if you know the most common questions, answers, and phrases, you'll be able to handle a lot. When you think about it, a lot of conversations are quite predictable. They're about topics we're already familiar with. So if we approach our studies to these conversations like we're working on remembering parts of a script, we can study efficiently. In this video, we'll cover one hack for improving your speaking skills. First, understand what you say. When you meet a new person, what do you say to them? Things like, what's your name? And where are you from? Then you talk a little bit about yourself. And even if you know that person, there are common lines you use all the time, right? These lines you use all the time in your conversations are your scripts. These are your most commonly used questions, answers, and phrases. Targeting these expressions in your studies will help you be able to handle a lot of everyday conversations. So take some time to examine what you talk about most or what you're interested in talking about. Next, where to find scripts for speaking. Luckily, we have hundreds of scripts that you can use. With our language learning program, you get the line-by-line -line scripts for all of our lessons. In fact, lessons like the top 25 questions you must know, the three-minute lessons and survival phrases are specifically designed to help you master the most commonly used questions, answers, and phrases. For example, the top 25 questions you must know focuses on the 25 most common questions you'll hear in a conversation. This includes basic questions like, where are you from? What's your name? And how old are you? As a learner of another language, these are the questions you'll hear almost every time you meet someone new, and you'll use them every day. It goes like this. You hear the question, then we break down its meaning and teach you how to respond. That way you'll be ready to speak right after the lesson. You can listen to these lessons and read along with the lesson notes. With our dialogue study tool, you'll get line-by-line -line scripts of the conversation. So you can review each line as many times as you want. You can listen to the audio, read the script, and the translation. You can also do this with our three-minute and survival phrases lessons. In these lessons, we give you line-by-line -line scripts for how to introduce yourself, how to make conversation, or even order food at a restaurant.
If you're a premium or premium plus member, you get the dialogue tool and line by line scripts for all of these lessons. Starting to speak in your target language might be scary, but this simple hack will help jumpstart your conversations. So if you're ready to speak better, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share this video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Do you want to have access to tons of language lessons, but you don't want to have to buy more textbooks? In this video, you'll learn six ways you can get language lessons for free. This video will cover ways to get our audio and video lessons on a regular basis, so you can work on improving your language skills. You can use these anywhere, anytime. All right, let's take a look at how to get access. First, right on our website. New lessons come out every single week. Mondays, Tuesdays, and video lessons on Fridays. Access them all in the Lessons drop-down menu on the site. Click on Newest Lessons. If you're on the go, you're going to work, driving, or running errands, you can easily learn with your mobile device. And that brings us to our next tip. Second, get lessons on the Innovative Language app. If you're an iPhone, iPad, or Android user, learn on the go with the Innovative Language 101 app. Download it for free. After you download the app, you can keep up with all the latest lessons. There is a newest lessons icon right on the home screen, and it gives you instant access to your free lessons anywhere, anytime. Just look for Innovative Language 101 on the App Store or Google Play. The third way is the Apple TV app. You can learn on the big screen. Turn on your TV and access all of your audio and video lessons. You can learn at home, keep the lessons playing, and immerse yourself all day long with the Innovative Language 101 app. Look for it on the Apple TV App Store. Now, this one is useful for only Apple TV subscribers, but if you're not an Apple TV subscriber, don't worry. The fourth way, get lessons with our iTunes feed. iTunes can download your lessons automatically and have them saved forever. You get every single lesson as it comes out. You'll never miss one. They're saved in your iTunes. Simply search for us on iTunes and subscribe. Fifth is the Daily Dose of Language app. This is for the iPhone, iPad, and Android. With this, you get bite-sized lessons sent to your device every day. Each day, you get a notification that your daily dose of language is here. Doing the lesson takes just a minute. These aren't our full-sized audio and video lessons, but these one-minute lessons will help you build a habit of learning daily. Find the Daily Dose of Language app on the App Store or Google Play. The sixth way is with our brand new Alexa skill. If you own an Amazon Echo, Dot, or Show, or are planning to get one, you'll want the Daily Dose by Innovative Language. Find it in the Amazon Skill Store. With it, you get new audio lessons and vocab lessons every day across all 34 languages. If you're ready to start learning a new language, these six tips can help you get started learning with our language learning program. Just pick which way works best for you and get started learning today. There are so many ways to start learning for free. Just check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and ebooks for free. Just click the link in the description.